we've been working with songs that have G as Do. But we're going to start to branch out a little bit and have some songs that are not just going to have G as, they're going to not have G as Do, they're going to have other different notes to start to be Do. And so you have been practicing putting little figures or something like you do in, at the lesson we did the little animals that we put on Do. Well, or G, we've been doing G. And so what I'd like you to do is this week I want you to practice on pretending that F is Do. Now you know the alphabet well enough to know that F comes right before G. So if you know where the G's are, it's not going to be hard to find where the F's are. And in fact, I'll just show you on my board here that you have if you're at the set of three black keys, which is where you're going to find F, F is going to be this first white key. All right? So you've been looking for G's, and that's harder, I think, to do than F's because F's the outside white key of the, of the set of three black keys. But what I'd like you to do first is get your little people or whatever you're using, and I want you to go through and find all of the F's and put a little something on all of the F's so push pause, find the F's, and then after you've done that, um, if you want to try playing them, you may, but then um, push play again, and I'm going to show you about doing the um, arpeggio when we're in F. Okay, so on page 37 of your book, there is a picture shows where the F's are. And it shows, remember how we've been talking about, you and I talked the last time we were together about making a one chord or a tonic chord. That just means the chord that's built on the first note of the scale. So if G is Do, we would make a, a chord that starts with Do. And a chord is two or more notes that we play together at the same time. If we play three of them together, oftentimes we call that a triad. You could call it a chord or you could call it a triad. but we're starting to try to see if we can play those triads. So what I'd like you to try to do is to play the triad that is starting on F instead of G. So you're going to want to try to find on your piano where that F key is, and you're going to put your hand in that same position that we've been doing like we did for um, G. So I'm going to move the camera so I can show you where your right hand would be if you were doing the F position. See how I've got my my thumb here on F? So if I was going to play the Do, Mi, So chord, or the one chord, and remember how I worked on that the other day, and I told you it's really important that I'm going to flatten my fingers so you can see them, but I want you to play with curved fingers. But to see which ones, you need to be using your thumb, your tall finger, and your pinky. That's the way we play a triad that's in um, this kind of position, where it's a do, mi, so, like that. And I want you to do the same thing with your left hand. Let me move over and show you left hand. However, this time, what's going to be on F? Is it going to be our thumb? No. It's going to be our pinky. And we will go do, mi, so, and then we're going to play that with our hands together. All right. So, I would like you to practice playing those chords and see if you can do them broken up first like this. But then also see, I know it's a little bit of a challenge to play all three of those fingers at the same time, but it's the next skill that I'd like you working on to see if we can curve our fingers like we talked about the other day, try to keep them resting over the keys. See how my thumb is up here and it's not down here on the wood. It's up here resting on the key, so I'm ready to play into that key. That means you have to have your hand a little bit more uh, in, into the keys than you have been playing before. Um, but that will make sure that your thumb is in a good resting place so that you can play these triads. And then you can try, like your brother was doing this week, he's doing what's called an arpeggio, and you can break it up. I can't do this all in a row but then you're going to go to your right hand and then your brother is doing it where you come over and he would play this note with his left hand. So that's what we call an arpeggio. An arpeggio is just 
a broken chord. It comes from the Italian word that means harp. So if you've seen somebody play a harp before, where they, they can play chords by plucking them, playing different strings at the same time. So that's where we get our word arpeggio. So what you can do is you can listen. I can't show you because I can't hold the camera and play at the same time, but this is the arpeggio. do this part that keeps your hands all in the same position then I can show you the part where you cross your hand over um, when you come but start working on having F as Do and trying to play that one tonic chord with your thumbs tall man finger and pinkies that's how we play our, our one chords all right